Kita, obviously not the result you guys wanted, but you know, still a point on home ice. What does it mean to kind of get that under your belt going into tomorrow with the, you know, the back-to-back -back coming? Yeah, I mean, not the result we wanted, obviously, but um, we battled back. It was down 2 nothing. got one goal, and then fought all the way through the third, and then Trev got a big goal at the end there to at least solidify us with one point. So it's better than no points, but we'd like to come away with some of these overtime wins. Seems like tonight you saw a different side of you guys, a lot of physicality out there. Uh, you know, it seemed like it was more physical than any other game you guys have played. Uh, you know, what can you say to that? Yeah, we have a physical group. We know that if we're uh, physically dialed in from the start, we get more engaged in the game. So that's definitely a plan of ours going into the game. And I don't know, we all battled hard. Guys were throwing their body, laying their body on the line. So it's nice when you see ever, everyone do that throughout the whole lineup. It gives other guys energy and we all feed off of that. So yeah, it's a good effort, I'd say, by everyone. A lot of scoring chances. Um, obviously, not a lot of them went in, but you know it's still a good sign when you guys do that, right? Like when you guys have all the scoring chances, that means something's going right in the offense. Yeah, we had so many chances today. Um, their goalie played well. Hats off to him. But yeah, if we just keep doing the right things and getting those chances, more than more of them are going to go in than not. So yeah. Now looking ahead to tomorrow, how do you guys kind of recover from uh, this overtime loss and get ready for Tucson tomorrow? A whole new opponent. Yeah, it's going into Christmas break. We got three days off, so nothing to save it for. Um, finish off on a win and go into Christmas with uh, happy holidays. Andrew, it's a bit of a wild one. So many penalties. Was it hard to get into a rhythm with everything, the way this game kind of played out? Um, a little bit, but I think um, with the high motion game, we did a good job uh, when it was five on five um, playing. I thought we played it really pretty solid game for 60 minutes just um, you know it's a good hockey game that didn't go our way uh, for your group you know spent all the special teams play it seemed like that was the the, the course of action today the power play has been so good uh, what was it about Rockford tonight that they were able to stymie you guys um, I think when you get one that early um, you know we had a lot of good looks on that um, you know the first five minutes of the game uh, the five on three obviously we would like to connect on that but I think you know they just um, they played out a good penalty kill, but I thought our property was good. I thought we generated a lot of chances. Uh, what is it about this team in, in overtime? It's, I mean, it's the fifth one. I don't know what it is. It just seems like it's crazy. You guys just, have, just haven't gotten the bounces. Yeah, we've had our share of chances in overtime. We've hit a bunch of posts and uh, had looks, but um, that's, that's overtime. That's, um, you know, you might only get one chance, and usually if you don't score on that chance, it's going back the other way. So, um, you know, unfortunately, we... Uh, weren't uh, able to get one in there tonight. You guys go down two to nothing, but you still fight back and earn a point. What was it about the group just to be able to find that next level and, and really just a determination to, to come away tied and, and at least keep this thing close and eventually get that point? Well, I think you take the score out of it all game. I think that's a, a really good game and we were happy with it. Even when it was two nothing, we still felt like we were right there. Um, a big response goal right after they made it two nothing, I think was, was huge for us. And um, just the way we played, I think we felt comfortable no matter what the score was that we were going to be able to find a way to get something out of it. Uh, you get to go right back at it tomorrow night. What's it like just to be able to reset, get back at it, and now a division game for you guys tomorrow? Yeah, it's um, you know quick turnaround, just get ready for it, um, you know, physically and mentally, and uh, put this one behind us. Um, know that we played well and, and we had a chance to win the game, and um, you know with a great comeback and be ready to go tomorrow. Chris, it's a hard fought game. It seemed like you guys is one of those right before Christmas, their last game before they go on break, and you guys continue to fight it out. What did you like about the group, the way they stuck to it, even go down 2 nothing, and eventually tying the game? Yeah, you know, I thought we competed really hard tonight. Um, you know, our, our start, um, you know, carried it right through the game. We, we were physical. Um, you know, we played a really competitive game. I'm, I'm happy, you know, we were able to get that one at the end and um, be able to turn that competitiveness in at least into a point. Um, you know, it's a tough one in overtime. Uh, Nikita Nesaranko, seemed like there was just – something in his game here today. He obviously gets the goal, but uh, a lot of his play seemed like he was physical in it. What did you see from number 13 here tonight? Yeah, Nikita's in a really good way right now. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's learning how to, um, to be a pro, um, and, he, and he's, uh, you know, he's taking advantage of it each and every day, and um, you know, he's skating awfully hard. Um, you know, that, that competitiveness is showing up you know, almost every game, and so um, you know, the challenge with you know, any young player is the consistency. Um, he's been good for a while now, and now we're just going to uh, you know, stay on him and make sure he keeps it going. A lot of penalties in this one, both sides. We had four on four, you power plays, you name it. Is it tough to get into a rhythm for everybody, especially with your group playing with seven defensemen? Yeah, I think so. You know, when you 
you know, playing games where there's, you know, every time you look up, there's, a, you know, someone going in the penalty box. It's hard to get into a, you know, some sort of a rhythm. Um, you know, tonight, you know, special teams, uh, you know, were the difference in the game. You know, we, we weren't able to, uh, uh, you know, get one on the power play in, in a few, you know, in six attempts. Um, you know, it's uh, something that we'll address tomorrow we're moving into uh, to, to the game. What is it in overtime uh, for this group? I mean, 0 and 5, it's tough. It's a completely different thing. It's really, it just seems like it's a, a flip of a coin when you're playing three on three hockey. But for this group, they've come on the, the bad side five times now. How do you change that around? Yeah, it's 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 wild. I haven't been a part of something like this before. Um, you know, there's been uh, definitely times where we've had our opportunities to score three on three in many games this year. and. They haven't gone in the net, and then you know it seems to go back the other way, and um, you know the game's over. But um, yeah, it's uh, you know three on three. It's um, you know it's almost like a pond hockey game out there, and you know for us we're focusing on how our team plays five on five. Um, and you know like you mentioned, we we showed up, we played hard. That's what we can ask from the guys, and you know it's something to build on going into tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow you got Tucson Roadrunners division game for you guys. Division games have been tough, but you get another crack at it to play again tomorrow night. How do you guys prepare and ready to go for tomorrow? Yeah, it's a quick turnaround. Um, you know, especially in an emotional game like we had tonight. Um, you know, we'll get our rest here tonight. Um, you know, tough on these back to backs, but I think um, you know we'll, we'll, we're going to find our way early in that in that game and and, and play simple, play hard, and um, you know play as a team. And you know it's the last game going into the break, so we should have enough juice to uh, to find a way to get it done.